Uh, I know you've been asked it a thousand times. First time you heard yourself on the radio? What was that story? Yeah, I was actually coming back into town. I'd been out on the road and Drinking Me Lonely came on and my truck has the, the little bar on there what scrolls your name across. Right. I feel like such an idiot, but I pulled over and I, I filmed it on my phone <laughs> so that I would have it. Because I was like, man, I, I want to keep this, you know? And it was just a, it was a cool thing just getting out here. I still freak out when I, I hear myself on the radio. I don't know that I'll ever get tired of that. And you remember your first big paycheck and your first big splurge? When I had my first number one, uh, <laughs> I bought um, a washing machine <laughs> from, the, from, the, from the scratch and dent store. And it was, Why? well, because I just, I needed a new washing machine and I just moved into a condo and I called my business manager, my accountant, and uh, I she didn't answer, so I left her voicemail and said, hey, I finally found something I want. I'm going to go buy it. Call me back. And, of course, two hours later, as I'm loading the thing onto my truck, she starts calling frantic. Just, did you buy a car? What did you buy? And I'm like, no, I bought a scratch and dent washing machine. It's like 400 bucks. Is that okay? <laughs> and they're laughing. And it's it's just, I don't know. I, I, I've never really been big on on need much stuff. I, I think I've been real, real lucky in the fact that, you know, I got my deal so young and I've been able to be out on the road and yeah. do what I love for a living. And I haven't really gone and bought the big, uh, you know, I, I bought my house okay. um, a little later on. And it's a small, I, I, I was happy that I could go get it and I, and I paid for it with uh, the money that came in from, from the first number one that I was a, a writer on. and. Uh, really proud of that now it's like retirement I'm, I'm very kind of odd but and I think it uh, a lot of it being that um, my mom has that accountant CPA background and yeah. so that that's kind of been drilled into my head so I, I haven't really gone and blown anything on like no you know car, a big no, boat. no big truck no boat nothing so uh, I don't I don't know eventually maybe I'll get to that what would people be surprised to learn about I thought everybody knew this but uh, it, evidently people don't I used to I, like teach dance and go dancing all the time whether it be like partner dancing like two-step yeah. shot us or uh, I, I actually used to break dance there are vi there are random videos if you, can you break find dancing I, but I don't do it anymore because that's that's just like opening up a can of worms you don't want any part of but <laughs> Uh, oh, I wish we could find those. Oh, yeah. They are floating on YouTube somewhere? We or? don't need to find them for this. Oh, yes, we, we do. All right. No, we don't. <laughs> do you still dance a lot? No, not oh. anymore. How about your uh, favorite fan story? Do you have a favorite crazy fan story or something that happened? There? I had a woman ask me to sign a thing of Depends for her 75-year-old husband's birthday. <laughs> and and it was, we were playing a show in a Walmart. It was me and Eric Church. And we were both signing next to each other. And, I mean, she just slams them on the table. And I'm like... Looking at her like, what do you want me to do? She's like, can you put those to Greg? Happy 75th birthday. <laughs> I was just like, this this is fantastic. I really did not ever expect anything like this to happen to me. So it was kind of funny. Yeah, about Chris Young, Met star. Yeah, I think it's it, it's kind of funny because I, I actually had a fan come up to me recently and, and say, so how do you do it? And I was like, do what? And I'm like, I have no idea where she's going. She goes, I just, I just don't see. Do you, so on the weekends you play shows, and and then like when you have a game, you fly to the game. And I'm going, I have no idea what she's talking. About. And it took a second to click. She thought that I, the Chris Young, the pitcher, and me are the same person. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, no. I was like, I don't know anybody could possibly do both of those jobs. I don't think that's even possible. So. It was just pretty funny that, that she actually thought, and there's actually another, there's another baseball player that's outfielder for uh, the Diamondbacks that is a, uh, that has the name Chris Young. So there's, there's a couple of ball players with that name.